Hello everyone, Holotide here, and if you want more Halo news and content, make sure you sub to the channel, and if you enjoy this video, leave a like on it. It really helps me build the channel because it is dead. But anyways, the Inside Infinite for June came out, and after reading through it, there are a few things that are not surprising, but just thought-provoking. At the very end, Joseph Staten says that during the Xbox and Bethesda game showcase that the Master Chief is the heart of Halo and that this is true and we can't wait for you all to play the latest epic and intimate chapter of the Chief's story. But it isn't the whole truth. There's another hero standing beside the Master Chief at the very heart of the Halo universe. Some of you may have met this hero way back in 2001 with the launch of Halo Combat Evolved and some of you will meet this hero for the first time this holiday because this hero is you. Tears. Or rather, they are the character you become every time you step into a Halo multiplayer match. And the next step of their journey begins with the launch of Halo Infinite's first multiplayer season, which we're calling Heroes of Reach. Customizing your character, making your Spartan look and sound exactly the way you want is a huge part of the journey, and so is tracking your triumphs and setbacks or interacting with your friends and foes on a new and improved Halo waypoint. But your journey is more than that. These are all very intriguing sentences. He then goes on to say at the center of our plans is a goal to deeply root your multiplayer character into the larger Halo universe and give them a vital active role in the Halo story moving forward. Uh, what? He then says how exactly we're going to do this in the seasons and years ahead. Well, we're not ready to share details yet. He then says that Reach has a rich history. It's a key location for Spartans of old and a focal point for a new generation of Spartans preparing to wrestle with the perils and mysteries of a galaxy that's fundamentally changed after the events of Halo 5. So that's kind of uh, a lot to take in. Is Reach going to be a story beat where our Spartan originated from and, you know, he saw Noble Six or something and saved him? But I feel like Reach is going to play a, a bigger role than it just being the seasonal aesthetic. Since he talks about it's a key location of Spartans old and new. Another thing that's very interesting is how he talks about customizing your character to how you want it. And, you know, we've already seen in Halo Reach, your character, aka Noble Six, being a part of the story, as opposed from Master Chief. I don't know if this means we're going to take a Destiny-like vibe after you beat the campaign. You know, your Spartan gets dropped onto Zeta Halo and starts running missions. Because it is an open world thing and I feel like the replayability will be there for that. Also, will there be like a battle pass for the campaign side of things? And you can kind of just do it with your multiplayer character. The fact that you can have a voice is very intriguing to me. So I don't know if this is again going to be like a Destiny type of thing where, you know, you can run strikes and stuff as your multiplayer character, but you do the campaign as John. In a previous video, which I will link in the description and in the comments down below, we talked about if the Master Chief was going to die. And while I don't necessarily think that he will die, I think maybe they'll shove him in the cryo sleep or something like that and do the whole wake me when you need me thing. But I do think that this is the future of Halo and that you are the future. Again, this is super exciting and also terrifying, but it's actually, I think, the way to go. I'm super excited to see what this means in the future. Let me know in the comments down below what you think this means. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you like. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe for more Halo stuff. And I will catch you in the next one.